what's up guys i'm back today with another video and today we are i am going to be showing you some tips when you get to the second seat in blocks fruits just to help you out and make your life a lot easier while grinding so my first tip is to immediately whenever you first get to the second C, you go to the area one quest giver then to the area two quest giver and so on and so forth then just keep grinding all of these guys keep grinding the bosses keep grinding all the npcs until you level 850 where you'll then want to go to the cafe Blech, my shining white light isn't looking okay but then you want to go all the way to the cafe go inside here then it's a random dude i'm gonna shing him there you go then you want to talk to bartilo he'll give you a quest where if you finish it already he'll say think that's it thank you for your help and then if if you didn't you want to do the quest you can go check out my video on how to do that um but first let's finish doing this video because then if you talk to him then you'll be able to get human v2 my second tip speaking of the cafe is to trade with people so yeah this guy this guy come here come here come here come here man come here man what you want to do is if you have good enough fruits and people are willing to trade you will definitely want to trade people like he has leopard and he's not giving me leopard for shadow no way but if there's a good trade you want to probably go onto a blocks fruits discord server or you just want to talk to your friends and research about what trades are worth what maybe slightly scam a couple people but eh, don't do that don't do that and that's basically how you get a lot of good fruits and possibly get your dream fruit okay so my next tip is to as soon as you get to second c start killing the boss known as jeremy so jeremy is, should spawn let me kill him so he should spawn in the area two quest giver jeremy you may be confused where he is so what you want to do is go to the very top of these rocks up here and then go down and start killing him because he will drop something called a black coat and this black coat is very very useful because if you have the pink coat from the first C, like i'm wearing right now although i don't have the black coat yet the pink goat gives you the pink goat gives you only 200 health uh, an extra 200 health but the black coat gives you 200 health and 200 energy which is super super useful to have that extra 200 energy even if it can only give you like maybe two extra double jumps then it is perfectly fine now while i'm killing this guy let me cut to the next tip because otherwise it's going to be a little bit boring okay everybody here we are at hot and cold and we just did the factory raid and i got the legendary kilo fruit yeah baby but jokes aside what you want to do as soon as you get to the second sea is probably check out this factory raid place you can't really do anything unless you're level 1100 here but you can get your friends to host raids for you and if they do be sure to take it now you might be thinking well, how can you give tips about this if you haven't even gotten to level 1,100? Well, all my friends told me this, so I might as well tell it to you. The code, if you didn't see it all right over there, is red, blue, green, blue to open up this little space. Then you go up the ladder, and once we get to the top, this guy, if you're level 1,100, will ask you to give him $100,000 and a fruit to get to a raid it's the fruit value is higher based on what type of raid you're doing and if uh you do a raid you got 1000 fragments and if you use the fruit that you have that you want to awaken during the raid 
like if I did a white raid with the white fruit, then I could get um, an awakening for my light fruit. So an awakened light move. This is very good, but you don't want to go right into it by yourself with raids because first of all, it's much better to do it with friends because they will help. And if none of you have Buddha fruit, then you're kind of dead and you probably do not want to do that. But be sure to do it with friends because not many people can solo a raid. And anyways, you get 1,000 fragments for each person rather than only 1,000 fragments for one person. So, that will be it for today. Be sure to like and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll drop this kilo fruit on your head. And comment down below what challenges you want me to do next. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time.